Do you guys have any questions or anything? Questions? So where are you from originally? I'm from Wisconsin. Are you? Small town. Okay. Yeah. So how does a girl from a uh, small town in Wisconsin make the jump to what you're doing now? It, well, it seems like it was a big jump to everybody else, but to me it wasn't. Um, because I've been performing professionally since I was six. So just, uh, you know, I've had a really good past year, but I'm not really doing anything different than I ever have. <laughs> I've always been doing it. Um, I think, you know, it's just a lot of it's... Um, putting out the right energy and working hard and then letting the universe kind of meet you halfway. And I finally did. How did you get hooked up with uh, Eminem and Dre? Did you ask the next question? <laughs> uh, well, I emailed my publisher, or actually a caller, I can't remember what happened. Um, and I just said to her that I, I felt like um, you know, music was the only thing that I could do, and I needed to figure out a way to make a real living at it because I was broke at the time, and I felt like a failure, and I was super depressed. Um, this was just a couple years ago, and um, and it was after I had been signed, and then I left my label. I was with Warner Brothers before, um, and she and I had a long talk, and I told her that I felt like the one thing that I have really been missing is the right team of people around me. Um, I had always been fighting for, you know, friends and, and people that, you know, I, I would stand up for the wrong things, like the producers I was working with were great people, but they weren't the right producers for me. But because they were such great people, I just kept working with them. But I realized that was a big mistake, and I, should, I needed to find that, that one producer that would be like a marriage in a way, where he would totally understand me as an artist and be able to take me to another level. And uh, she suggested Alex the Kid, and so we, she introduced us via email, and um, he sent me a track just to see what it would be like if I wrote over one of his, his beats, and then he sent back the hook to Love the Way You Lie. So that was the first thing we did together, and then we just decided that we should continue working together because we, you know, had such a great success with that. Um, it, I wrote it, and then it was not like a month later that it was on Adam's record. Um, and so Alex was the one who, who had the Eminem connection. And uh, I didn't meet M or Rihanna, you know, before that song came out, and then after it, you know, became really successful. Um, M invited me to Detroit to work on some stuff for Dr. Dre, and that's how that happened. At this point in your career, do you consider music your life? Uh, it always has been my life. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's nothing, there's never been anything else. So you've already worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. Is there anyone else you still really badly want to work with that you haven't gotten to yet? Uh, I guess there's so many talented people out there, and I'd be willing to do more collaborations, but I don't want to just go out and work with a ton of people because I feel like I can be a solo artist and accomplish a lot that way too. But um, yes, there are people like Tom York is one of my favorites. Absolutely. And uh, I would love to collaborate with him on something in the future. And then also I want to get into doing music for other things like film, and not just sticking to pop, um, you know, do, doing something different. Okay. So other than Tom York, who would you want to say, you know, featured on a Skylar Grey track? Mm -hmm. Who would you want to put on there with you besides, you know, Skylar Grey featuring Radiohead? Um... I don't know. I mean, I have Marilyn Manson on my album. He was a big one, so I got that. Okay. I just, I have big dreams and I go after them. I'm not afraid. I'm fearless. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably approach Tom York at some point. Who knows if he'll accept, but... I don't know if he has Twitter yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I'll find him. Do a song with Marilyn Manson on your album, you said? And I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I could say right now off the top of my head. 
I love Bon Iver. So what was it like meeting Marilyn Manson? What was that like? Um, well, I mean, I guess when I first met him, I was a little intimidated, but um, he's, you know, just a really intelligent, great person. Totally out of this world creatively. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I learned a lot from working with him. How was your experience on Taj.0? Oh? <laughs> Taj. <laughs> that was so random. I got a call to be Taj. Um, yeah, that was really fun. Did you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, does anybody, do you guys know who Taj is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Taj uh, does these web redemptions, and he, he uh, found this YouTube video of Eli Porter, a, a, a rapper who kind of went down in history for being kind of terrible, <laughs> and um, gave him the opportunity on the show to redeem himself. So they got the school cheerleaders to dance around him on a golden throne, <laughs> and um, had me sing the hook for the hip, this, this hip hop song. So we were on the season premiere couple days ago. You can find it online. It's quite funny. It's like the worst lyrics in history. I did not write them. <laughs> I read about you on Wikipedia today and I saw that Marilyn Manson was one of your influences and that kept being a few others. But did you, were you a big hip hop fan? No, that's the weird thing. I, I grew up with a very eclectic background in music. My mom was a Celtic harpist. My dad was in a barbershop quartet, and um, my sister listened to, you know, like the hits of the 90s. So I was really just into all different types of music. Um, but hip hop was not really a part of my life. And then um, I did buy the Marshall Mathers LP, though. And I hid it from my parents because it was explicit. Because <laughs> I, I just thought like that was a great work of art, um, regardless of what genre it was. And that's how I've always been about music. If it's great, it doesn't matter what genre it is. I will love it, even if it's death metal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, the, my first experience in hip hop was working on Fort Minor with uh, Mike Shinoda. That song, Where'd You Go, mm -hmm. in 2006. That was my first hip hop experience. All right. So how old are you? 25. 25. Yep, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're really good. <laughs>